First pull, lorry pull, Iceland versus Great Britain. Are you ready, Iceland? Now, now, now. GB. Are you ready? <laughs> This a totally different sort of haul to the tram event. The teams must keep their feet on the blocks, and it's all arms and back. They're not allowed to walk away from those blocks at all. The strain now really telling. When the coal trucks used to come up these staves, there's a slight incline so that once they'd been hauled up to the top and the loads dumped into the ships, they would then roll back down the staves of their own accord. It's only one or two degrees, but as you can see, it means everything to these strength athletes. Helti Arneson and Magnus Magnusson working well as a team. Hauling back together, going forward together for another haul. And there's no question as there was in the trample of once the vehicle is rolling, then it will continue to roll. At the end of every pull, these stop. And that makes it terribly difficult to get moving again as the muscles get tired up. And the British boys change technique, standing up to try and use their body weight to get the lorry moving again. And they gain a precious extra few inches but the whistle goes, the two-minute time limit is up, and neither team has completed the course. Healthy, incredibly tough. The toughest pull we ever had in our whole life. We, we didn't complete it, but I think the hours also run into a problem with it. So they are, I think we are quite happy. We gave it all we had, we just finished, we couldn't finish it. There's obviously more of a gradient than there looks on this stage. So, every time you try to relax, it goes back? Yeah. Oh. Determination yeah. writ large on the faces of the Icelanders, and one thing we know, they'll never give this title up. Working well as a team. Hauling back... is rolling then it will continue to roll at the end of every pull these stop again as the muscles get tired up again as the muscles get tired up <laughs> 